Ship Cosmetics The main clout in Sea of Thieves. Completing or creating your own ship set by mixing and matching is one of the first things you want to acquire in the game. You want to stand out, and you want to be unique. But time after time, all you'll see on the horizon is the same handful of ship sets, and I'm sure any season player can 100% relate. The Crab Set a slightly incomplete Ash and Dragon set. The Kraken set. Dark adventurer cells with a random hole because they're a peasant. These are the most common sets you'll see on the waves, and it's mainly because they're so easy to acquire. Not much knowledge is needed to grab at least most of each set, but considering the game has hundreds of different ship sets, it's always odd that you don't see the other awesome sets more often. Now there are a few ship sets out there that are relatively easy to get your hands on, but there are other that are on the tougher end to acquire. This one, for example, the Bristling Barnacle Set. It's incredibly rare that I see this ship set on the seas, but when I do, it's a definite head turner. So why is this ship set so rare? Well, mainly because it's locked behind one of the least completed commendations in the game. Hoarder of Barnacled Gold. This commendation requires you to hand in 300 pieces of shipwreck loot. This stuff, not to be confused with the coral loot. Shipwreck loot is only found within the game world, and is never a reward for a faction voyage type. Also, it's worth pointing out that some people think the skeleton captain's chests are considered shipwreck loot. I mean, I agree, they should be. But they're not. Shipwreck loot only comes in five forms. Barnacle captain chests, barnacle marauders chests, barnacle seafarers chests, barnacle Athena, and Celine Dion. In an average play session, you'll probably find two to four pieces of this loot, and newer players probably aren't aware that they've likely made it a fair distance into this commendation without even knowing it. Check it out in your Gold Hoarder Reputation tab, but for this commendation, you're going to need a lot more than two or three pieces per play session. Now, it's worth noting that this commendation isn't something to be grinded. It's supposed to be a drip-fed commendation you'll eventually acquire through regular play. That said, though, there is an in fact a great way to grind for it, if you have the patience. Completing this commendation is also a great deal, because not only does it unlock this ship set, but it also unlocks the Silent Barnacle ship set, which are both recolors of a no longer obtainable Wailing Barnacle ship set, which was a reward from the update Shrouded Spoils. But also, this commendation unlocks the Bristling Barnacle clothing set, and the Silent Barnacle clothing set, alongside the related equipment and weapons. So for a newer player who wants to stand stand out and look unique, and even impress some veterans, this is something you really want to work on. So as I stand amongst my horde of shipwreck loot mocking you, I'll reveal the most efficient way to get yourself shipwreck loot in every play session. First of all, you want to interact with something that most of the time is completely useless. The quest board. Pick up every single quest in the current biome. Mark them on the map and get ready to set sail. Why the quest board loot? Well, there is a chance that this quest board loot can snag you some shipwreck loot to dig up, but this isn't the main focus for grabbing them. You see, shipwreck loot mostly spawns on shorelines of islands and under the water on the sandbanks. The idea is, you follow the route to the islands you acquired from the quest board, and any islands in between, you stop off and run the shoreline and the sandbanks looking for chests. Most of the time you will be lucky and you'll bag yourself a shipwreck chest. Then, when you reach an island for a quest board map, you locate the dig spots and you have about a 1 in 5 chance to dig up some shipwreck loot. And then once again, check the shorelines and the sandbanks of that island. On your travels, however, keep a keen eye on the horizon for seagulls. This can indicate two things, a flotsam or a shipwreck. Both are great for picking up shipwreck loot, with both scenarios having a high chance of success. 
This is the most efficient way as a solo player to find shipwreck loot. You'll have between 5 to 10 pieces within the hour. Now that I have your attention, time for an ad break. <laughs> Are you fed up with your top of the range console? Or your top of the range gaming PC? Are your frames in Minesweeper causing you a headache? Then worry no more, my little chumps. The wonderful people over at Apex Gaming PCs are just what you need to put a smile on your face. The perfect place to craft and build your PC for those of us who don't have the foggiest. Look at little Timmy here. He just got his Apex Gaming PC and he's very happy. I'm very happy. Use code FALCOR at checkout and save yourself some cash. All links are down below. I killed Demarco. But you can speed up this process significantly by taking on world events and ambient threats. Skeleton ships, whether part of a world event or just roaming, have about a 70% chance to drop you some shipwreck loot. Megalodons too, so if one pops up to say hello, stop what you're doing and take it down. As for world events, you want to target regular skeleton forts and skeleton fleets. Everything else, such as the Ford of Fortune, the Fort of the Damned, Ashen Lords, and the Ghost Fleets event, will not get you the loot you are looking for. Also, don't do the fort in the Devil's Roar. I learned the hard way with this. Ashen Lords sometimes drop a piece of shipwreck loot, but it's not worth your time. Also, it's worth noting that some of the hiding places within shrines can often back you some shipwreck loot. But again, do not mistake coral loot for shipwreck loot. Now, this certainly isn't a commendation that you can do in one sitting. You'll have to set time aside every play session to maximize your hauls. I would recommend aiming for at least 10 pieces a play session, so set some time aside for that. But using this process explained, you'll be well on your way to acquiring this rare commendation and the rare cosmetics that go with it. Don't be another Ashen Dragon eye roll. Be the ship that people ask, where did you get that? Now with all of this out of the way, I was hoping to just draw you in and talk one-on-one -on -one with you all about something. For quite a while now, I have run a Patreon, but as of late, I have literally not had the time to update it or even post on there. I am very, very thankful for the people who have remained, even though I have not been putting the effort in. But I have managed to set up a new schedule and squeeze in a lot of time to keep it updated. Future videos will now have shoutouts to people who support me through certain tiers and will soon be setting up a cameo tier for people who want to support me further. Go take a look, and please remember guys, I always appreciate your support. Being a YouTuber, a live streamer, and also doing voice acting work really takes a lot of my time, and it can be, at times, very hard to manage it all. Now, if you could just all do one more thing for me, just follow my lead here, okay? Are, are, are you ready? Okay. Take your hands away from your device or your keyboard. Come on, come on. Put it down. Put it down. Roll with me here. Okay, okay. Ready? Here we go. I want you to take a deep breath in. Let it stew a moment. Let it stew. And release it slowly. <sighs> Feels good, doesn't it? Now, slowly pick up your device or place your hands back on your keyboard. Okay, now come closer. Closer. Come closer. Closer, closer. Closer. Okay. Listen to my voice. Shh. Listen. 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 Shh. Subscribe.